role of renewable energies and reductions in energy consumption is becoming ever more important, both in terms of future energy supply and climate protection. Germany is a leader in the field. In 2008, the Federal Ministry for the Environment, Nature Conservation and Nuclear Safety launched an extensive international climate initiative. 120 million euros have been made available for the international climate protection measures. Tree Transfer Renewable Energy and Efficiency is one of the projects supported by the Ministry. The target audience for this knowledge transfer project comprises both specialist engineers and decision makers from the worlds of politics and industry. Participants are offered scholarships to come to Berlin and take part in the program. The concept behind TREE is the brainchild of RENAC. 300 participants from 14 countries are to be trained in renewable energies, energy efficiency and climate protection during one-week seminars. In providing this training, Germany is putting into practice the transfer of know-how to developing and newly industrialized countries as agreed in the Kyoto Protocol. Decision makers gain an overview of technologies, financing and implementation strategies. The courses offer them guidance and support which will assist them in setting up renewable energies and energy efficiency initiatives in their own countries. I can inform the partners in Brazil which technology they can get from Germany. I'm learning more for uh, integrated grid connection. That is one part that I didn't knew very well. It's a great feeling to be back in schools and learning the basics. Engineers have the opportunity to expand their knowledge of solar, thermal and photovoltaics. The professional equipment at the RENAC Training Center facilitates practice-oriented qualification and it's here that engineers acquire practical planning experience and learn exactly how technologies are to be installed and maintained. Learning how to manage with this kind of technologies and uh, that is going to be very useful for my work. Solar projects are really important for my company so I need to I get to learn a lot of things about solar projects. It's very important for me then I, I can be the trainer when I go back to my country. And actually the people and the trainers are very much experienced. There are very few courses in the world which actually do what we're doing. Um, there's uh, certainly, as far as I know, this is the only course of this type really in Europe. The lack of knowledge is probably one of the biggest barriers to the spread of this technology in many parts of the world and there are probably between 1.5 to 2 billion people with Azure electricity. We go through very detailed design of small and larger scale solar thermal systems. Um, we take them on site visits so that they can see real systems. Both in the training centre and on excursions, participants make a wealth of new discoveries. During this visit to a houseboat with its own onboard solar power system, Carsten Zana demonstrates the two solar collectors used for water heating and the 14 solar modules and battery system which provide electrical power. Afterwards, at dinner, guests have the chance to exchange experiences with one another and discuss possible implementation strategies with representatives from a variety of countries. An international network of experts is taking shape. One result uh, I did not expect, uh, which was uh, a lot of interest to me, is that uh, people really um, want to get um, to create a network and get information from other participants from other countries. So now really this international exchange uh, can be started through this uh, three network and this three community so uh, participants can exchange their experience and also of course uh, get knowledge we provide through our lecturers. It's the end of the Berlin seminar weeks. Given in front of representatives of the press, the final project presentation is attended by the three participants alongside ministry representatives and ambassadors from participating countries. Lively discussion ensues. Satisfaction is voiced by all those involved. Together they celebrate the success of the project so far. My experience is that it is very valuable information. They take all this information and also this motivation back and go. I, I think they will go home and 
try to improve their situation. The participants return to their countries, where they will seek to apply the theoretical knowledge and practical experience they gained in Germany. This is by no means the end of the tree program. Distance courses are on offer throughout 2009. Working in partnership with the Berlin University of Applied Sciences, RENAC uses an online platform to deliver these follow-up programs. The platform offers the participants a unique opportunity for further practical study. Participants with questions or problems can take advantage of online help. Their knowledge is extended by individual consultations with renewable energy experts. The knowledge transfer continues. To be able to pass that knowledge on to countries that haven't got that experience yet is, is really worthwhile. Um, we actually, in terms of climate change and in terms of uh, fuel security, we don't have much time left. 71 countries are already making commercial use of renewable energies. Over 50 of them are following the German sponsorship model. We're at the beginning of a century of ecology. In the end, the only economies which succeed and remain ahead of the field during this era will be those which continue to develop their technologies and distribute them around the globe. This is especially true in the case of renewable energies. Renewable energies not only reduce CO2 emissions, but also contribute towards the fight against poverty, the development of new industrial sectors, and as a result, the creation of jobs. As renewable energies are inherently local, they facilitate comprehensive electrification, even in remote regions. TREE promotes these goals worldwide. <laughs>